Can you uh, tell me what happened? Uh, we were between uh, Washington and Broadway on 9th, and uh, a series of cops started advancing towards us in, in a formation, and maybe 15, 20 yards into their formation, they sprinted towards us. And as they're, as they're sprinting towards us, certain cops are saying, if you're behind the line, you will be arrested. But where's the line? The line's not even clear where the line's at. Imaginary line. It's an imaginary line. And once they do regroup, they regroup and say, if you're inside a restaurant, you can go inside your restaurant. If not, you need to go home. But then they wouldn't let us go home. They blocked us in between that, those two blocks. So we're standing there, and as I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna back up, the officer 622, the chubby white male, such as myself, short cropped hair, in a police uniform instead of in this attire, struck me in the chest with a baton. As he struck me in the chest with a baton, I said, please do not hit me again. Started backing up, and he struck me twice more. I turn around, and the, this bald gentleman that's this way probably right now, Frank Agawa Plaza, he's backing up, gets slammed from his face, a hand to the face, slammed into newspaper boxes, such like that, onto the ground where three officers surround him and beat him repeatedly with batons. As people tried to pull him away, they kept beating him. At the same time, there's a man, or there's a woman who got thrown off of her bicycle. They take the bicycle and throw it against more protesters. The man's over there actually getting a splint right now on his wrist because he had a broken wrist. Another gentleman was beat so badly and shot with rubber bullets that he has a broken leg and was taken away by EMTs. And that's like, okay, that's not excessive force. When you, some other cop told me, oh, these are a special division of, of police officers out here tonight. These aren't police officers that were normal police officers. These are police officers that are military trained to come out. Another gentleman actually said that he may have served with them in Iraq and overseas in foreign war. And these are your brothers you fought against, you know, you fought with against terrorists to come home and only be abused. It's pathetic. It's unexcusable. It's not okay. That's all I have to say, man. Thanks.